Miss Marvel succeeds once again. I didn't expect the second episode to live up to the first episode because the first episode was really good. So imagine my surprise when episode two was on par with episode one. In terms of content, it's pretty much everything that worked in the first one, then they throw some stuff in. You, know, you get more of Kamala's parents, more of her relationship with Bruno, more of her like inner thoughts and drawings all over the walls. Hell, you've even got more of Kamala attempting to drive. It's literally everything that worked in episode one. They put more in episode two. But the difference now in episode two is that Kamala Khan has powers, which she did not have in episode one. So we do get to play with that. There are some fun things in there. Now, I love the movie Shazam. And what I really love in Shazam is the montage of him figuring out how to use his powers. Well, this episode has a training montage that reminded me so much of Shazam. Warner Brothers could probably sue. And you know what? I'm not complaining because I loved it in Shazam and I loved it again here. It worked. And there were even some little laughs they did in it. If you saw the clip that they released, uh, was it yesterday or two days ago before this episode? It, it, it's basically that. Uh, I did not watch the clip beforehand though, I watched the episode first. And something this episode very heavily reinforced is that Kamala Khan is just a great character. That has been the single greatest success of this show up to this point. She just wants to be a good person and do good, but beyond being a good person, she's just a good superhero. Not good in the sense that she knows what she's doing and she's a master class, but good in the sense that when the time comes, she does not hesitate. There's never any moment of hesitation on if she should be using her powers or anything. It's when the, there's, there's a situation in this episode where she has to use her powers and she doesn't question it at all. The second she sees it, she goes straight in to go help and use her powers where necessary. And it was like the, the best scene of the episode. It was the scene that made the episode and I was so invested in what she was doing. I did end up really, really liking the story of this one just because of what they set up. They, they, they set up this big sort of mystery aspect. They set up the big uh, overarching conflict of where they tease the big overarching conflict of the show. They bring in, you know, a couple antagonists, they tease what I would assume to be a main villain, and while we've barely seen any of that yet, it it seems like it's going to be crucial, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like they're going to do too much of a bait and switch in the, in episode five, and then really make episode six disappointing, at least I hope that's not the case. Also, what's the whole deal with the six episode thing? If you're going to do six episodes, just make a movie, which I have to mention again. I feel like the show could have been a movie. Now this episode less so than the first one. The first one I was like, yeah, this is just the first 20 minutes of a movie. This episode more so I'm like, okay, I get the sh I get the, the show pacing here, but I guarantee you I could cut both of these episodes down into like 40 minutes. And then I, when this show's over, it feels like you're gonna be able to make it into a movie. So I wonder why they didn't just make a movie. But on the bright side, having a show in this format, and episodes are super long, they're like 50 minutes. So you do get quite a bit of development for Kamala, which is important. Everything I talked about in episode one pretty much carries over in episode two because there are a lot of repeated things that work there and work again. So I feel like I don't need to get too in-depth into them. If you want to hear me go in-depth into those, watch my review of episode one. But there, there is a situation in this episode. I get why it's there. It needs to be there. It relates to, it, 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 within both the context of the show and the real world, it needs to be there. But there's like a, a, a part, there's a very tiny part where I feel like something they were going for overstayed its welcome. And I was like, all right, I get the point. Is this part, is this little bit necessary? I feel like it wasn't. I'll talk about it. I'll, I'll briefly touch on it. Spoilers, but I don't want to say it here because I don't want to spoil anything. But there was a section in the episode where I was like, all right, I feel like we could probably lose this. Oh, yeah. There is also a new character introduced 
who I don't really care about that much. Um, but speaking of characters in episode one, I said Bruno I wasn't a fan of. In this episode, he was like the best character. So I guess my wishes were answered and they fleshed him out and made him cool because I loved Bruno in this episode. Or should I say Brian? You'll get it when you see the episode. That's really it. There's nothing else that stands out too much besides Agent Cleary doing something that referenced No Way Home twice, actually. Uh, that they referenced some Spider-Man movies. So that was that was cool. Uh, once again, the show filled with Avengers references, and it just it, it feels like it makes sense. The show very clearly needs them. There's a, a joke about Thor that Kamala makes that was I, I thought was pretty funny. Uh, same with the joke about Ant-Man and uh, kind of a, a reference to the fact that Paul Rudd just doesn't age. So they, they made some clever jokes in that episode. That's it. It's spoiler time. If you haven't seen it, go away because I'm not going to apologize when I spoil it for you. All right, first off, the montage. The montage was beautiful when she was testing out her powers and she like kept falling and it was never going well. The scene I really liked is when she fell and uh, Bruno caught her and then she's like, you're gonna have to let me go and she lets go and it's like a six inch fall and she just lands, lands on solid ground. But let's talk about Cameron, I believe is how they were pronouncing his name. Kamala's love interest. Here's what I know about him. Kamala thinks he's good looking. That's pretty much it. The, the, I don't know anything about this character, but I guarantee you he's going to end up being a villain. I, I can promise you he's going to be a villain. It, it, it just fits, especially with the cliffhanger at the end, which, by the way, that's how you do a cliffhanger in a TV show. So take note, everyone, the way this episode ends. So Kamala's having visions of, like, someone once she uses her powers, like, reaching out to her. And then at the end, Kamala gets in the car after escaping from damage control, who had the drones from Far From Home. Um, that was one of the references. They were using the Stark drones. And uh, she's like, hey, Kamala, I've been waiting to meet you. And then Kamala's like, Kamala, meet my mom. And that's when it ends. I was like, it's not bad. And then the other way that Agent Cleary referenced a Spider-Man movie was his interrogation of Zoe. He got her to to uh, give info the same way he got Ned to give info where he like comes in, talks about how they're all big fans, everyone wishes they could be them and how they're not so different. And then when Zoe lets down her mental guard, he just goes for the kill shot. But what I really wanted to talk about, which is the whole reason the spoiler section of this video exists, was the scene when Kamala saves someone because th this is how you do it. And if this scene played out any other way, the episode I feel like wouldn't have worked. It would it would have fallen apart at the end. So you have this guy who's being an absolute idiot, and he's like leaning out a window of a tower, taking a selfie. Dropped his phone, slips out of the tower. Boom, he's dangling. Why this kid thought it was a good idea, and why his parents let him do this, I don't know. But Kamala doesn't even hesitate. She sees it. She's like, Ah, oh, maybe we'll save this guy. And they call her Nightlight, which, by the way, is a great superhero name. Night Monkey and Nightlight. Let's pair them up. And so she's like, she's shimmying across it and she is figuring she gets to talk about something other than the very messy death that he's about to have that someone's going to have to scrape up off the sidewalk, then maybe it'll calm him down. So she's like, she's walking. She's like, talk about favorites and stuff. And he mentions a favorite food. She's like, that sounds great. What's your favorite food? And he mentions ice cream pizza. And I'm glad Kamala mentioned how disgusting that was before I lost my mind and woke up my entire family at 1.30 in the morning. That is gross. Please, no one ever put ice cream on your pizza. And she made a joke about not knowing if it's supposed to go in a bowl or a plate. But then she like used her powers to walk over to him and she screws up the save. So she, the first thing she tries to catch him with, it like, it slips out from under him. Then she catches him while they're falling and then uses another platform that they land on. And then as they're walking at the roof, she has a vision and it blasts her backwards and takes down the like, the things she had made and that he falls and she's just kind of throwing stuff and he's like bouncing off it all the way to the street and he hits the car and hurts his ankle so she can't even save someone without being a danger to herself and others i was like that is so genius because so, if you come in if you come in in this two episodes into the six episode show and kamala 
has a mastery over her powers. Let me rephrase this. If you do anything and you come in and the character who really doesn't understand their powers has mastery over their powers, it's kind of going to suck. But the show's too smart for that. And they know two episodes in if she has mastery over her powers. What is there for her to learn about her powers in the rest of the show? So she is so rusty. She can't even save people right. But it's awesome that she still tries. And that's why she's such a good character. All right, that's all I want to talk about with Miss Marvel episode two. What did you think of the episode? I thought it was another fantastic episode. The show's delivering so far. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also leave a like on this video, subscribe, click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from the MCHQ. That's gonna be it. Have a great day, guys.